Ronnie is a worshipper, a father, a husband, a friend, and a business executive. But out of those five titles, uh, that's very difficult to actually narrow down to one. But I would say that uh, all the roles that I play are very important to me. And uh, I thank God that he gave me the opportunity to actually explore um, all of those titles. I don't think that um, um, we thank God enough for all the things that he made, that he enables us to achieve. And so I think for me, my message really is a message of thanksgiving. It's a message of hope. It's a message of being grateful for all the things, all the talents, all the gifts, and the opportunity that God has given to me. When I discovered that I could sing, I was probably 13 years old. Uh, before that, I didn't really think I could sing. But um, when I became, uh, when I transitioned from sort of children's church into youth, um, we had a conference and, you know, they had a talent night every conference. And so I thought, let me enroll myself for singing. And I sang uh, Scent of My Joy by Richard Smallwood. And to my surprise, you know, at the end of the rendition, you know, people clapped and they were quite impressed. But I think the funny thing about that story is that I actually sang the whole song looking at the wall not even looking at the audience. Um, so that's really kind of when I discovered that, oh, there actually is something there. And I'm glad that there were elders in the church, you know, people older than me that were, that uh, encouraged me to pursue it and to, uh, and to do more. My music really is all about reflections. Uh, it's a music that uh, goes deep into the journey that I've traveled. You know, God is there, He gives you all these talents, uh, He enriches you as a human being. And so your job also, I think, is to give back to the universe and to enrich others. And I believe that, you know, that whole host of experiences that I've had uh, will reflect and come through in my music. I'm looking all over my life and I realize I want Um, Lord, I love you. Like I said, it's a, again a reflection of my love for God, um, but it also is a reflection of the things and the places where I see God uh, has taken me through. And um, I was very, yeah, it, it was quite a simple song, I think, to write um, because it really spoke a lot about what I've experienced from a big, uh, from a Bible point of view. Um, and you will see that it's actually quite based uh, in Psalms. Um, but also reflecting on the fact that, uh, you know, irrespective of everything else that we go through, God remains the same, His love doesn't change, and so I love Him because of that, and He loved me first uh, when I didn't deserve it. So I think that's really the message of, of that single. It shall not me your own and your the concept, I think, of the video for Lord I Love You, um, because it's such a personal song, um, it really talks about me and God uh, and the love that I wanted to express to Him. Um, you know, we wanted to actually make sure that that comes through uh, in the visuals that we uh, try to create for the video. And so, um, yeah, all the scenes that you would have seen, or the shots in the video would have been uh, a conversation. It would have been a scenario where you know, I'm expecting God to come and, you know, uh, and, 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 and give me company uh, over a dinner table. It would have been me playing a love song to God over the piano. Um, so it was really quite a, I think, well-considered uh, concept uh, just to uh, reflect that message of my love uh, for God and the fact that, you know, this is a personal song for me, um, although it does invite kind of everyone to join in right at the end. So the vendor song is called Nendirira, which uh, translated means I long for. 
Um, and like I said, for me, the, the message of my music is really about um, rekindling the longing for God. And this particular song really talks about the fact that, you know, someone's soul longs uh, to be with God forever. And that's our destiny. And I think um, it's quite appropriate. It's not tears of sorrow, uh, but it's more tears that uh, are quite reflective, quite deep in terms of uh, the relationship and the walk that a person has with God and ultimately hoping that that will result in a life of eternity with Him in glory um, as the Bible promises us. The Zulu song, uh, it's in fact, I think I, I battle to give it a title. So I sometimes call it Ubu Kosi, sometimes I call it Nwele Upageme because that's the, the hook. Um, but essentially that song for me is a song that talks about God only. And that's where I really magnify and exalt Him um, as a supreme being. And I think that's what's uh, been quite evident in the way that I lead worship, even in church. And so for me, there is no greater um, glory or there is no greater uh, position to give God apart you know, from that song where you're talking about His holiness and the fact that you know, He is the Ancient of Days, He reigns from age to age, um, angels in heaven, you know, um, bow down to him day in and day out, and they cry holy. And that's what we're also going to be doing uh, when we get to heaven one day. And so that's really the, the essence of the song. But I think it, for me, gives you that kind of throne room experience where you can almost visualize and imagine um, this, uh, you know, choir of angels going around the throne, um, declaring that God is holy and that there is none like him, that he sits you know, on the throne forever and forever. Yeah, so in terms of the Night of African Worship, that's in fact uh, the, the, the concert or the worship, worship night experience where I launched uh, my professional career as a gospel artist. And um, the intention of that show was really to uh, introduce Ronnie into the market as, as a musician, um, but also as a worshiper. Um, and focusing mainly on singing hymns and songs that we all grew up on. Uh, and so you'd have seen that the repertoire was quite uh, traditional, it was quite, uh, it was quite authentic, and that's what, what, uh, what we're trying to achieve with that show. But we also had new uh, sort of material, new songs that we brought in um, quite nicely into the mix. Uh, and so it was quite a nicely, uh, I think, uh, you know, orchestrated show. And I featured obviously one of my best friends, Abu uh, Choco, uh, Choco, who featured on, on the show, um, which was quite, quite nice for her to do that. So, so that's really what, uh, what happened at the Night of African Worship. Hi, my name is Ronnie and I believe in chasing dreams. I've been chasing my dreams in corporate, in education, and now I'm chasing my dreams as a musician. I believe dreams do come true. So if you believe in something, stand up, start acting, do something, and it will come to pass.